Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is a USB that we actually have in for data recovery and you can see actually that it's bent. We're just going to be showing you um, just how we kind of do the repair for, for data recovery on a USB. When, when we see something like this, what we want to do, uh, the first way to really attempt an approach on this is um, because it is physically damaged, we want to see um, what the damage actually is on the actual uh, USB itself. So since it's bent, when we also want to make sure that the traces are actually completely there. So once we see something like this, we actually want to at least open it. So let's open it now and I'll at least take a look at to see what's going on underneath it. So we have the USB and what we want to do is just access it here. So you can just grab a little bit of like a pry tool or something. And just get in, in the middle of it there. And what that's going to do is that's going to open this up. And we, wanted, we don't care about the shell anymore. We really just care about the actual USB itself. So here's what the USB actually does look like. And since the USB is out here, you can clearly see that it's bent uh, diagonal. Now, what, what this is, the, all this is, is really connecting the USB here from the connection from your computer to uh, the chip that's actually on here to access the data and storage. Now, we do see that there are four traces actually that go here. And we want to make sure that uh, these are all healthy and intact. And so it can access... Uh, so your computer can access the chip that's actually on here for the storage. So let's go take a look actually under the microscope to make sure nothing's damaged there and to see what the possible issue is or if it's something we need to solder or something or to see if we need to repair. You don't want to really just bend it back because you don't want to make sure you make this worse or if this actually comes off. Now if you bend it, you also can uh, rip off the traces there too, which are these four little lines there. You can rip one of those off and if that is the case, then it would make it a lot more difficult for, for data recovery. But let's just go take a look under the microscope. So right now we're just inspecting the USB board and to see if there's any damage to it. And we're, a little, we're always concerned about uh, the bend to the board there. Sometimes the solder balls, they can get cracked there, and that can cause connectivity issues. And the main symptom we see here is that the USB isn't detecting. And you see how it's bent right here? Because it's bending like this, there could be a crack inside. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to remove this part. Pretty much like a handy portable little USB that we actually created. And we're going to use this to connect the USB. So let's go ahead and remove this part of the USB. And we're going to go attach the our portable USB. Okay, so now we've removed the damaged um, part of the USB here, and we're going to be connecting our little portable USB that uh, we use for a lot of the USB data recoveries here. And we're just going to go solder, solder the pieces here. And you can see there's one for each connection, and we're just going to be doing that. So now we soldered our little um, portable USB. What we're going to do is we're going to go see if it does connect. So here we are actually plugging in the USB and we're seeing that it's recognized. Uh, you can see that it actually brings up a little prompt that says, do you want to format? Um, at this point, at least that it is recognizing the USB and we're actually getting some type of response. Um, and now what we can do is we, we can actually use our recovery tools to actually recover the data from this because we're at least getting um, something out of the USB and it is being recognized. It still won't be able to be accessed through the actual file manager, but um, through our recovery tools, we should be able to recover this totally fine. So we were able to recover the data using this 
little portable USB. This is the one that we did actually solder on. And again, it's what it is is it's a it's a homemade device that we actually used, and it's it helps a lot, especially in these situations where the the USB is bent. Uh, we can disconnect the old one, and then we can connect this to what we have here. Um, it's a little bit of a portable USB. It does a really good job, as as you guys actually saw, and we're actually we, we were able to actually recover the data. Um, so we do lots of data recoveries here. We have lots of tools that we actually do have for ourselves. We also have like a PC three thousand and other data recovery not just hardware but also software as well that we use um, we specialize in that uh, we really take pride in it and kind of what we do and we do take it very seriously we do actually have a store open if you guys want to go ahead and check that out we have lots of Mac parts there available for sale and we keep adding stuff as, as we go on it's a recent store that actually just opened but we are building it constantly every day and we're updating it all the time take a look at that that's in the link in the description um, also subscribe for more content it really does help us a lot when you guys leave a like so please do so as well hey guys thanks for all the support all the likes and everything um, you know, we do lots of data recoveries liquid spills we work on lots of macbooks and lots of other things as well um, so we really hope you guys enjoyed this video we really hope you guys found this video informative one way that we actually do data recovery on a usb and uh, again for this instance it was a bent usb we were able to get the data off on um based on the repair that we actually did we hope you guys did learn something today so anyways guys thanks a lot for watching i really hope you enjoyed and uh thanks a lot bye